What is up everybody? Tars22 here. Today we are playing the test. Now, I don't know how serious or how funny or whatever this game is going to be. It's basically a bunch of questions and stuff, so viewer discretion is advised. Um, cool, I'm going to just jump right on into this new game. And sorry there's no camera. It recording's fucky right now. Now, in order to begin the most important part of this entire experience, you will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself? Your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? This process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult in self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your mind and life so that you can protect your future? Predict your future, sorry. You see... As long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you the things you already know, but necessarily, but don't necessarily know that you know. Jeez, if it's telling me my future, maybe I don't want to know. Maybe I'll just stop here and this video will never go out. Um, as long as these answers you provide to the questions are asked, at questions asked are 100% honest and true. This process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work. Unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and never answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see it. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. Can I drink Mountain Dew? I have two Mountain Dews right next to me. I hope that's okay. I hope that's not breaking any rules. We are about to begin with a series of questions, and provided that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Do you believe that everyone should be treated fairly? Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? Without a fucking doubt, yes. Have you ever invented anything? That one I gotta think about. I'm sure I have when I was like a child. And Liz like wishing for shit from Santa, but, uh, sure, yes. Do you believe that you are worthy of someone's time investment? No. I don't believe I'm worth shit. Like, honestly, I don't believe I'm worth shit, and a lot of people think that's sad, but I just, I figure there's more important shit to be worried about than me. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yeah. 
I have a pretty open mind. I'm willing to try anything. I'm willing to experience anything, and I'm willing to do pretty much anything. Yes. Would you say that sometimes you have trust issues? Yeah, as with everyone, it takes time to, um... Yeah, I have trust issues. It takes time to, like, get to know someone truthfully and, like, understand them and understand their psyche and get a good vibe from them. So, yeah, I have trust issues with people at first. Would you be alright living alone forever? If, so long as I have internet and food... Yeah. Hell, even if I just had some books, I'd be fine living alone forever. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my family, I love my wife, I love people. But if I had to live alone forever, I'd be fine with it. If I just had a bunch of books. Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Not always. Like, if they've lied to me or they've uh, ruined my trust with them, I don't always give them the benefit of the doubt, so no. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? Yes, I hate watching my own videos, but uh, I, I do, and I, I, I hate my voice, but I have to do that for editing purposes at some points, you know? Do you like the color blue more than the color black? No, I'm pretty... I like green most. Green is my favorite color out of everything, to be honest. No. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yeah. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Yes, sir, I do. Are you afraid of spiders? I used to be, but then I met my wife, and she kind of taught me that they're not as bad as a lot of people think they are. So, no. No. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? See, no. Because just because it means un like you wouldn't be injured doesn't mean it wouldn't hurt like hell. So, no. Would you consider see yourself to be fat? Yes. A lot of people have told me I'm fat, and I am chunky. I am quite a chubby motherfucker. Would you say that you have lots and lots of charisma? No. Have you ever wished to be temporarily frozen? Is that like, um, like the whole like Walt Disney conspiracy thing where like he's cryogenically frozen temporarily to go and see the future and stuff? Because if so, no, because I'd miss out on a lot of shit. And I honestly don't want to miss out on hanging out with friends, watching stuff I like to watch nowadays, reading books and stuff, so... No, I haven't really wished I could be temporarily frozen. This is all... very... interesting. Did you realize the last letter of the previous five questions when you put them all together? Spell... Satan. No, I did not. Does that make you uncomfortable? Not even a little bit. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? No, I am not. I mean, there's like paw prints. Is that something? Paw prints, hand prints, whatever the hell. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? No, because I don't really care. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No, because you're a video game. Were you aware... There could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly. Uh, no, I don't think there are potential consequences because, again, you're a video game. Are you wondering how these questions began to make a strange turn? No, I haven't really noticed a strange turn.
I noticed the crack in the bookshelf and the crack on the wall. Uh, but no strange turn. Would you consider yourself captivated? A little bit, yeah. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Yes and no. There are times where I'm where I feel brave, but there are other times where I feel like I'm a I'm a, quite a pussy. Uh yeah, sure. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? I mean, everyone keeps telling me I have above average intelligence, but I feel pretty damn dumb a lot of the time. Uh no, personally no. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No, I'm trying to figure out what that means, though, because I'd love to know what that means. Uh, no. No. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? No, sir, I do not. Have you begun to wonder how long the test will take? Or how many questions exist in this session? No, sir. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? I think at all times we can be patient, but then at the same time, at all times, we're pretty impatient. Um, so there are times I have been pretty patient and times I have been pretty impatient and kind of gotten upset about it. Um... I'm going to say no. Do most humans annoy you? I'm kind of the same, along the same lines as the last one. Everyone I meet annoys me at one point, but at the same time, everyone I meet is really fucking nice and really awesome and don't annoy me. So there are times that they annoy me and times they don't. Um, But most humans... No, I wouldn't say most humans annoy me. There's like one or two occasional humans that annoy me, but not most human, meaning like almost all humans. No. No. Would you prefer animals to humans? No. I mean, I have a cat and two dogs, but I, I do think of them as family. They are family, but they're not no, I'm just going to stop there. No. Do you believe in magic? No. Do you believe in God or the existence of some higher form of power? Uh, I used to. I don't anymore. Do you fear death? I used to. Not anymore, though. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? Nope. Just my wife. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Yes. Are you alone? I mean, in my room right now, yes, but there are two people upstairs and there are two dogs upstairs. So, yes and no, I'm going to say... Yes, because in the room I'm in right now, I'm alone, but not in the house. Yeah, I'm sure. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? Yeah, I believe you because there's one viewer on Twitch right now, so... And then people watching me on YouTube afterwards, so yeah, I would believe you. Have you wondered who I am? No, sir. I see your eyes right there, your little plague doctor mask on your hat. Have you had shivers at any point during this session? Nope. Do you feel like you're being watched? Again, yes, because there are people on Twitch watching me right now, and there are people on YouTube probably after the fact watching me, so yes. <laughs> Have you considered quitting this session early? No, I'm here till the end. Do you drink water every day? 
No. Do you eat at least once per day? Every day? Yeah, I snack at work all the time too, so yeah. Do you realize there's a high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages thus far? Oh, uh, without a doubt. I'm not even looking for them. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck this means. Are you wondering what they are? Again, just wondering what this means. Nothing else, no hidden messages, but just this. Would it bother you never knowing? <laughs> Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No. I'll probably look up a walkthrough or whatever before. Is your favorite number seven? No. Life is short. But it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? No, because the longest thing we'll ever do is be dead. Orange cannot be compared to apples. Do you disagree or agree? I don't agree because oranges can be compared to apples. Like, if you look in, at an apple and an orange, one has a rough skin, one has a smooth skin. One is orange, one is red, or green, or yellow. Sometimes orange, too, depending on the apple. Uh, so, no, I do not agree with that. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? Yes, I did, because I took astrology for a while in high school, in college. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Yeah, I believe everyone deserves a second chance. Yeah, because everyone messes up and everyone wants to do better the next time around. So yeah, everyone deserves a second chance. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Nope. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No. Freedom is more important. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? No, I actually have a fear of drowning, so no. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? No, I did not. But I don't love you. Do you wish to be loved? I know I'm loved, so, like, my, I know my friends love me, I know my family loves me, I know my wife loves me. That's all I really need, so, yeah, sure. Have you ever felt hated? Oh, all the fucking time in high school, man. Like, all the time. Do you have any addictions? Oh, hell yes. Like, I am addicted beyond a reasonable doubt to Mountain Dew. Um, yeah, and quite a few other things. Yes, I do have addictions. Do you dislike the color pink? No, it's actually my top five favorite colors. Does the color gray seem depressing? No, not even a little bit. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes, up until the point in which it starts giving me a migraine, and then I have to kind of turn it off or go away. Do you like to dance? Yeah, I like to dance. I'm not good at it, <laughs> but yeah, I like to dance. Would you consider yourself normal? Yes and no. I'm weird as hell. Um, but there it really is no normal at this day and age, so no. Do you love your parents? I mean, I never met my dad, so... Yeah. Have you ever been lied to? Oh, hell yeah. Do you get angry often? 
I used to, I still do sometimes, and I've actually, I'm taking anger management classes to try and get over it, or to try and help me with it. Yeah, unfortunately. Do you hold grudges? I mean, yes and no. There are a lot of grudges I could be holding right now that I'm not. And there are a lot of ones that I could have let go that I'm that I am holding on to. So, unfortunately, yes. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yes, I have. Have you ever done something that you know you shouldn't have done, but still did it anyways? Yes. I'm not gonna get into specifics, but yes. Have you ever lied? Yes. Have you ever cheated on a test? I'm sure everyone has. You won't cheat this test. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? No, I think all of nature is beautiful. Like, fucking amazing. Have you ever wanted to be an animal? Instead of a person. Yes, because I am a furry. But no, that's not why. Not because I am a furry, but just because the whole trauma unicorn thing from my accident. I think it'd be cool to be a unicorn for a day or so. Do you believe you have psychic powers? No. I wish I did, but no. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes. Do you dream often? Yes. Do you have nightmares often? Not as often as my wife, but I have uh, nightmares from time to time. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? No. Do you suffer from depression? Yes, I have been cl uh, clinically pronounced depressed several dozen times from several dozen doctors because when I was a child my mother didn't believe the first seven doctors so she kept taking me to other doctors and psychiatrists to be like is my boy depressed and turns out yes I am do you exercise often and stay active well because I'm an unloader and a loader for uh, a shipping facility I'll say yes but I don't really exercise other than that, so. Is there a particular type of food that you despise? Yes. Chocolate. Just fucking get all chocolate away from me. Not because I'm addicted to it, I can't control myself around it. It is the most vile food on the planet. I hate it. Get it away from me. Don't let it near me. Unless I'm doing a taste test with my wife, in which case I won't touch it, I won't eat it, but she will, so. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? This might just be the depression in me talking, but yes. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yeah. Yeah. And there are times where I, like... I pay for people's food, and they say they're going to, and then they never do, and then they keep promising they're going to, and they don't, and I feel betrayed. I feel people I've trusted who say they're going to do something, and then they go behind my back and do the opposite. It's kind of like betrayal, so yes. Do you ever feel lost in life? Oh, hell yeah. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? Yeah. Yeah, I am a natural. I feel like I am a natural leader. I, I, yeah. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? No, because there are so many things living on this planet. There are so many things that have homes and lives on this planet. I don't want to end all that. That'd be selfish, I feel. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? No. I often dream of writing a book where my where I die. Have you ever been bullied? 
Yes. Have you ever bullied someone else? In elementary school, yes. I regret it all, and I have apologized to the people I bullied. But yes, in elementary school, I did bully quite a few people. And by quite a few people, I mean like two or three people. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? No. Unfortunately, no. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings? Unintentionally. Oh, all the time. I don't mean to say shit that like hurts my wife's feelings, but I do. I Same with friends, same with family, but... I hate it when I unintentionally hurt people's feelings, because I feel like a piece of shit after the fact, you know? Because I don't like hurting people. People are nice. People are cool. If they're nice to me, I want to be as nice to them as I can be, but sometimes I'm a dick. Do you find space fascinating? Yes, I do. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Yes. I have that Etsy shop that I'm going to be opening up pretty soon and posting everywhere. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? No. Because I don't always respond to messages when people text me, and I don't always call people back when they call me, and I think I have like 17 unread messages from one person, and like 7 missed calls from another person, so no. I could be better, but I wish I was better. Do you consider yourself to be flawed? Oh hell yeah, I think everyone's flawed. Have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain or performing a heinous slash egregious crime? No. Do you believe in perfection? No, nothing's perfect. Have you ever stolen from someone? At some point in my life, I'm, sh- I sure, I'm sure I have. I just... Like an eraser from a teacher or a paperclip from a store or maybe when I was like a toddler I stole a candy bar or some shit. So yeah. Would you kill someone under any circumstances? Uh, Yeah, I'm sure there would be some circumstances where I would kill someone. Where I would have to kill someone. Not that I would want to, but... Yeah, if they were like being a dick and they were... Yes. Under some specific circumstances, I'd probably have to kill someone, yeah. I wouldn't like to, but I'd have to. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Ooh. Fuck, I don't... I don't think I would. Because... I don't want to worry people. Like, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to tell my wife because I wouldn't want her to be looking at me and be worried about me all day, all that day, thinking, oh no, this is the last day I'm going to be with him. Let's try and fill it, with, fill it with everything I can to remember him with and stuff. And I. I don't think I would. I think I'd live my last day to the best that I could. Not really letting anyone know that I'm going to die. Um. I don't think I would. I don't want, I wouldn't tell my wife. I don't think I'd tell my family. I don't think I'd tell my friends. I might tell my dogs because they, they can't really communicate with anyone, but. I don't think I would tell anyone because I wouldn't want them to worry. I wouldn't want them to be nervous that they had they just had a day left with me. Because they shouldn't have to worry about me. They should they should like I'm I I wouldn't want them to worry. So I I don't think I would. I, I'm going to say no to that. I don't want people to worry about it. 
Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? Yeah. Do you trust me? Even though you know nothing about me? No, I do not. But you're a video game, so what the fuck are you going to do? Do you know who I am? Yes, you're a program. You're a video game. You're... Yes. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? No, because you're a video game. You're stuck in my computer. If I told you that you've that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? No, because I have two pretty good guard dogs that would be barking if you were. Of course not. That would be silly, now wouldn't it? Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yeah, I empathize with people a lot, yes. Would you consider yourself to be a romantic? No. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Not a full-on fight, no, but I have punched people. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Oh, all the fucking time. Yes, I hate it. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Sometimes. Not all the time, no. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? I'm attracted to both sexes. I'm, uh... I can't think of what I am. But, yes. Would you ever shave your head? Yes, I'm planning to again pretty soon. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Yeah. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Oh, all the fucking time, yeah. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Well, my best friend's my wife, so yes. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Nope. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? If I could get away with it? Like, I wouldn't be held accountable, I wouldn't be taking a trial or anything like that. No. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yeah, nightmares. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Again? Yeah, in nightmares. Do you dream about being naked in public? Again? Yes, in nightmares. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Books, yes. Movies, no. To or, though. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes. Do you like being the center of attention. No, I do not, which is odd because I'm a streamer. Excuse me. Do you feel like something is always watching you? Not always, but sometimes. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Yes. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Yes. When I was in, when I was had this car accident from my brain injury, yes, I had an out-of-body experience at that point. Have you ever punched a nun? No, I don't think I've ever really met a nun, so no. Do you like dogs better than cats? No, but I like birds better than both dogs and cats. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? Yeah, I just, um, I don't have the time to read. I'm too busy working and fixing shit. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you've ever punched a nun? No. Do you get starstruck easily? No. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Yes. Yes, I do. 
is your favorite part of your birthday? Receiving presents. No. Seriously, though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really? Just bam! Right in the face. Nun punch. Again, no, I've never really met a nun, so no. Did you laugh? No. Did you say, what the fuck, in your head, or even aloud? I mean, just then, yes, but no. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? No, again, I like being nice to people. I'd rather not punch people. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Oh, hell yeah. I've been... a dick. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yeah, I enjoy all games. Do you masturbate frequently? Yes. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? Nope. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? Nope. Is your mouth dry? No, it's actually pretty moist. Especially since I just took a drink. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? Fuck no. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? Yes, I do. Are you poor with money management? Oh, fuck yeah. Choose one of these numbers that make you feel reasons with you. Wait, what? Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. 11, because it's half of 22. Choose one of these colors that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Mm. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Wicked. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Glorious. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Uh, skill. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? No, I'm actually I actually suck at math. Do you speak more than one? No, I do not speak more than one language fluently. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? No, sir, I have not. Do you enjoy coffee? No, I do not. Do you believe in demons? No, I do not. No, I do not. Are you? Afraid of snakes? No. Do you prefer baths over showers? Oh, hell yeah. You can't get all warm in a shower as you can in a bath. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? Um, if it's overpowering, yes. Do you see... Did you see a shadow move in your room a few moments ago? Yes, my own shadow. That's unfortunate. Did you ever hear your name being called when you know no one is calling it? Yes, I have auditory hallucinations all the fucking time and I hate it. That's part of my brain injury. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? Yes, but that's because I'm I have ADHD and so does my wife, and so we forget where we put things a lot. So I don't know if that works. A yes or a no? I'm gonna say no, though. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? No. Again, I have really good dogs, so if someone was actually here, they would. 
come in and they'd be rawr, 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 rawr. do you ever hear random knocking noises around you yes because i live in a basement where pipes run through the walls do you often look at the same time at the same time on the, the clock every day no i do not words are difficult have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No, sir. Do you have any pets? Yes, three. Is your favorite color green? As I said earlier in this video, yes, my favorite color is green. Are you attracted to a family member? Not in a sexual way, no. Like, I'm attracted to them, like, I love them as family, but I'm not, like, attracted to them, like, bounce, go, wow, wow, you know? Anyways. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Not immediately, but eventually, yes. So, no. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the roles? Too much work. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? No, because my grandfather was a cop and he's told me. So. Excuse me. Do you like fishing? Do you like hunting? Do you like camping? Do you like guns? Are you getting tired of answering these questions? Would you consider yourself to be kinky? No. Pretty vanilla. Eyes are the windows to the soul. Do you agree? Nope. Do you always keep your promises? I do my best to, but I don't always, unfortunately. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Eventually, yes, but right after the fact, probably take me a bit. But yeah, eventually I would. Are you an only child? Between my mother and father, yes. Just my dad, no. Just my mother, no. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? <laughs> no. Do you like tattoos? I don't like them personally on myself, but I don't care if other people have them, you know? Do you being do you enjoy being high in any form? Not particularly, you know. I haven't really ever gotten high, so Do you believe you have a soul? No. Did you cry this week? I haven't cried since my grandparents' dog died like three years ago. Are you? Upset with someone right now? No. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Myself. Do you understand how this works yet? Nope. If you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them and the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand me? Yeah. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Nope. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planned here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this, is just a byproduct of, an it, of its intention, would you believe that? Nope. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Yeah. Are you afraid of dying alone? No, because we all technically die alone. 
even if there's someone in the room with us, we we still die alone. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No. Are you always on guard, waiting to fend off attack? No. Do you feel like I know you yet? Probably, yeah. Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? No. I think I have enough information about you now. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly, quickly, without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. You're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I never claimed to be. And that fact alone is what makes you so incredibly special. I believe everyone's special in their own way. Your scars are reminders of what didn't kill you. Your mistakes are who you are. The lessons learned are what you needed to be who you knew you could be all along. Yeah, I know my scars on my head are reminders of what didn't kill me. Because... Forgive yourself for the mistakes of the past. The people you felt you should have paid more attention to. The people you felt you should have given more of a chance. The people you felt you didn't treat the best. You are not the person. You don't have to be that person again. Every single second of every single day is an opportunity to change and be the person you wish to be. One piece of advice I must offer you is that your time is not infinite and your opportunities aren't either. You may not be able to change the past, but you can absolutely change the present, which will vastly alter your future. If only you believed in yourself as much as I do. As much as I believe in you. If only you could see what I see. You'd never doubt yourself ever again. Keep at it. Make the changes. And flourish. Your secret word is appreciate. Remember that word. It may come in handy. Take the secret word that was assigned to at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers and be to be included in a future project we are currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. Do not wish, if you do not wish to be a part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we will always read them thoroughly. Thank you for th taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will make sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test, Hypothesis Rising, the test, Final Revelation, and the test, Chamber, on Steam, if, you're in, if you've enjoyed this installment. You can also find the Journey series 
and the Advisor series, which we'd encourage you to try. If you'd like to support us further, or try any other games, you can find our link to all of the titles on the title screen of the games under the section Other Our Other Games. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you. Well, I feel like I've I feel like I've learned quite a few things about myself. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and you enjoyed learning some things about me along the way with me, uh, like the video, leave a comment down below if you want me to do the second one or the third one in this series. It is a trilogy, and I will do so. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later, guys. Bye!